I'm Raj Shah from the University of Colorado, and joining me today is Uday Kumar Navanithan from Florida Hospital, who will be talking to us about his study, Digital Single Operator Clangiopancreatoscopy in the Diagnosis and Management of Pancreatic Mobility Disorders, a Multicenter Clinical Experience. So Uday, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Dr. Shah, for the opportunity. Yeah. Would you mind kind of going over a uh, sort of brief overview of your study? Absolutely. So. The new digital single operator clangioscopy was released recently for clinical use. So um, we wanted to study the utility of the new digital single operator clangioscopy in the diagnosis of intermobility strictures, which is a common dilemma, and then also in, uh, in evaluating the efficacy of that in the treatment of uh, difficult count bile duct stones and pancreatic duct stones. So that was the basic gist of the, of the plan of the study. Uh, so we basically did a retrospective analysis of prospectively collected data over a, over a period of time in two centers. One at the Center for Intervention Endoscopy at Orlando, Florida, other at Cleveland Clinic in Cleveland. So it is a two-center study. Uh, we enrolled a total of 105 patients over a six-month period. And all these patients are followed up uh, for a minimum period of at least six months after uh, the colangioscopy, with the follow-up period anyway from six to 11 months. Um, so basically, we had around uh, 44 patients with intermediate inter bleeding strictures who were uh, evaluated with single operator colangioscopy. And we evaluated the role of um, single operator colangioscopy in the sensitivity and specificity of diagnosis of malignancy. We also looked at uh, 36 patients with uh, bile duct stones and, pan and pancreatic duct stones. Again, efficacy of that in treating those stones. Yeah. And you found that the from a stone perspective, uh, you had clearance in all patients. Is that so uh, all uh, I mean, all patients had clearance of stone except for one. Uh, that patient actually had pancreatic duct stone in the head, which is difficult to treat. It has, in spite of uh, laser lithotripsy, was difficult to control. So the patient actually went to surgery. So except for that, all 35 patients had complete clearance of uh, both bile duct and pancreatic duct stones, respectively. That's really impressive finding. So, yeah. but in pancreatic stone patients, you excluded some patients that had multiple stones. Is That's that correct? correct. So, all the patients included in the study basically had stones in the head and neck only. We did not include stones. Patients who had stones in the distal body and tail, and most uh, patients had multiple stones were difficult to begin with. Were excluded to begin with. So, we selected patients. We selected study for patients who had a single stone or a few stones only in the head and neck of the pancreas. And, with, and there is some data on pancreatoscopy for PD stone therapy. That's and correct. with the digital system of the single operator clangioscope, what advantages do you think there are with this system compared to the previous version of the clangioscope? I think previous uh, people who use both systems can easily see the difference. I think uh, with the new system, uh, I think it's, uh, the visibility is much different because they have a digital scope compared to the fiber optic scope, which is the older system. They have the new CMOS chip, which is the, um, the chip for digital imaging, uh, very good imaging. Other thing is there's less interference with the blood and mucus, which you see with the older system, uh, much because they have a separate channel to suction and to clear the lens. Um, and uh, the other advantage was getting the accessories through it was much easier. And uh, the other, ma other main, main advantage, I would say, is the, is, the, is the coordination in terms of movements. I think uh, it's a, it's a direct, the, the dial movements coordinate with what movements the scope have compared to the older system, which was very uh, difficult to maneuver into the pancreatic duct particularly. So all these actually have made uh, single optical angioscopy, the digital version, much easier compared to the older mm -hmm. version. And I think the, the exit point, the, ex the exiting of devices out of the working channel seems more fixed and a little more predictable, That's and that correct. might be helpful as well. Absolutely, yeah. With your strictures, and you mentioned the 44 patients that had biopsies, but there are also some patients that you just looked and didn't do any biopsies. So, and the, what do you uh, make of those patients and, and the utility of clangioscopy in the patients in which you're not requiring biopsy? Yeah, I think the, with the new digital system with uh, better visualization of the strictures, we can identify features of malignancy. Uh, like we look for, obviously, tumor vessels, new vascularization in the stricture. We can look for, obviously, tumor masses, which are very straightforward to diagnose. So if you see this uh, features much clearer, uh, it's as if it's looking through an XP scope inside the bile duct. The visualization is that clear that uh, maybe you can circumvent or you can prevent the need for needless biopsies sometimes, or even if the biopsies come back negative, the visual features actually can, can make you a stronger predictor of malignancy that needs further evaluation at least. And you mentioned that the, this is a retrospective data of a prospectively entered database, and this is the best we can do right now considering the system just came out in February of last year. But when you describe the visual impression of the findings, uh, for the operating characteristics. Was it systematic that the um, people who are doing the procedure 
will uh, specify that they thought it was malignant or benign in the reports? Is that how you determined? Yeah, the report actually specified, I mean, uh, we had like a standardized way of reporting uh, for the cholangioscopy. So a person who's doing a after cholangioscopy will determine patient had tumor cells, yes or no, or um, abnormal features of malignancy, yes or no. And then finally in the report they say the features suggest of malignancy in that report specifically. That okay. was the way we went back and looked at that report. It was very easy to find that out. Sure. Yeah. And then you, you uniquely described this technique. It was initially described by Doug Howell's group of uh, SMASH technique where you do a biopsy and then you get immediate read and you utilize yeah. this with your cholangioscopy. Tell us about that technique. So uh, around 39 out of 44 patients with strictures done at Orlando actually had this done. At Cleveland Clinic we didn't have that facility available so it was only done in our place. But basically what we did was uh, we did biopsies and on site the pathologist came to our room and evaluated the biopsies right away. So we call it as basically on-site set of pathology similar to EUS FNA. We want to transform that into ERCP and tissue spice biopsies. And uh, we were able to diagnose on-site in 36 out of 39 patients with cancer based on on-site biopsies. So this could actually be a huge advantage because you can avoid multiple biopsies. If you have an answer in two or three biopsies, you can avoid putting six or seven spy bites into the scope, number one. Uh, number two is, um, it is it can give the answer right away, which is an important thing compared to USFNA, which gives the answer right away. The URCP takes a couple of days to come back, anxiety for the patient. So this may be a new way of diagnosing cancer, and this technology has helped us out uh, with that. And I noticed that the median number of passes was just one. That's correct. Which is yeah. pretty remarkable, since yeah. many times we do multiple, multiple biopsies. Can you explain why that, wh why it requires such a few number of biopsies? I think, for, uh, I think uh, most people uh, say that if you have a strong cytopathology in your unit, it makes a difference. Uh, so we uh, fortunately have a great cytopathologist in our unit who comes and sees the samples right away. Uh, we have a site technologist who is experienced in getting those because you need to write the way to smash it appropriately because sometimes an artifact comes in, it makes it very hard to diagnose cancer in that setting. So the right technique to um, from the processing of the sample and on site where you see the answers, then we stop doing biopsies after that. Yeah. And so they come on site. Come so on site, yeah. The quicker you get the biopsy result, the faster you can get done with the procedure. That's correct. Do you buy them a beer, too, and <laughs> offer them something? I offer them extra special <laughs> extra night. Special. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely. Absolutely. Pleasure. Thank you very much for your time.